What's going on gamers, Nico Finno here and today we're going to be going over how you can EV train the fast and easy way in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let's begin by going over just what are EVs. Now, EV stands for effort values, and if we were to increase these effort values, we can make Pokemon stronger. This is what you need to do if you want to get the most out of your team. Now, especially for competitive reasons. So if you're into the competitive side of things in Pokemon, this is gonna be a great way for you to really quickly increase EVs on your team. So there's a few ways we can increase our EVs. Number one is by battling. That's a slow way. It's It still works though. It's gonna, as you're going through your playthrough, your EVs are going to increase. We can use items in the game and we can use pokey jobs. Now each Pokemon is maxed out at 510 EVs. Divide that into the six stats, but each stat can only be increased to 252 EVs. So let's open up the menu and let's take a look at the Pokemon we have here. Let's take a look at Cinderace. Now if we go to check his summary, move over to the right, here we have a spread. So HP 217, attack 212, defense 251, 175 speed, 128 special defense, and 116 special attack. Now if we press X on this screen, we're gonna get the EV spread. Now looking at the chart, you can see that light yellow and the slight blue. Blue represents a stat being increased. However, if the inner shape was dark yellow, like this on Obstagoon, you can see the dark yellow circle there inside the light yellow. That means the EVs haven't been touched and they can all be increased. Now, just to clarify, what I'm saying is if Cinderace or Obstagoon or any other Pokemon's EVs were maxed out, it'd look something like this. 252 EVs to attack, 252 EVs to speed, and we could use the remaining six for HP. That would be the 510 EVs maxed out. So we couldn't use any on special attack defense or special defense because we've just used all the EVs we have in attack speed and HP. So besides battling, we also have items. And the two items I'm gonna be speaking about today are proteins, and also berries. For berries, first let me show you where to farm these. So the first tree, you go just out the side of Modest Oak, cross the bridge around to the left and you'll find this first tree. So it's a berry tree, do you want to shake it? As you're shaking the tree, you'll get a ton of berries come down and you'll notice that the tree begins to shake up the top. If you continue to shake it when that happens, you will get a Pokemon encounter. So as it starts to shake, you want to stop there. Next tree. So we just fast traveled to the Pokey Center in Hammerlock. And we're going to head across this bridge into Route 7 to find the next tree. Down here, down the ramp. And there's the second tree you can use to collect all six berries. Moving on. So here we have the six different types of berries that affect the EV stat. So you can see here the Kelpsy Berry lowers the attack base points. The Quolot Berry lowers the defense base points. The Pomeg Berry lowers the HP. Hondu Berry lowers the special attack base points. The Greppa Berry lowers the special defense base points. And the Tomata Berry lowers the speed base points. Now, the reason for these berries is so that you can lower a Pokemon's EV in a specific stat so that you can increase it in another stat to change the Pokemon's EV structure. So if you have a Pokemon that has really high defense, but you want it to have really high attack, you're going to use the Quolot Berry to lower the defense. Now each berry will lower it by 10 points. Change the structure of the EVs for that particular Pokemon. So next you want to fast travel to the Poke Center in Winden. It's the one right in the middle 
And this is obviously the town where we beat, defeated Leon to become the champion. You're gonna head inside the Poke Center. You're gonna to speak to this shop owner on the right, and he is going to sell HP up, protein, iron, calcium, zinc, and carbos. Now these do obviously the opposite to the berries. Instead of bringing the stats down, they're going to increase the stats. So HP increases HP, the protein increases attack, the iron increases defense, the calcium increases special attack, zinc special defense, and carbos speed base points. Now these are 10,000 a pop, which is actually really cheap. 10,000 quid in Sword and Shield, most other games were up around the 50,000 pokey dollars. So this is great. And each one of these items increases the points by 10. So purchasing 26 proteins would max out your attack for that EV stat. And then there's pokey jobs. So what you wanna do is exit that. You wanna head over here and go down to check pokey jobs. You wanna head down all the way down to the bottom to HP seminar, attack seminar, defense seminar, special attack, special defense, and speed. I'm gonna do attack at the moment. So we go into attack and we open up this. Now I'm going to put in Ninetales, Charizard, Lucario, Vaporeon, Coma O, Toxtricity, my Cinderace, and Obstagoon. And that'll do for now. Yes, I am done. Your Pokemon will be sent to the job site. Is that okay? We're gonna hit send Pokemon and we're gonna choose the whole day. So if we choose the whole day, we get the whole 24 hours. Now each hour, each Pokemon can increase their EVs by four stat points. So over the course of 24 hours, we're gonna increase our attack EVs by 96 for each Pokemon we put in here. Now we can put in up to 10 Pokemon per turn. And off they go. See your team. Now for the next part, we're gonna get out of the Poke Center and we're gonna fast travel to Bridgefield. There's a den nearby and we're gonna be using a raid den. So I'm gonna head straight to this one here. It's already got a beam out. So I'm gonna head straight to this den right here. Take the 200 watts and I'm gonna throw in a wishing piece. You can also do this if there's a den nearby that already has a beam of light out of it. We're gonna save the adventure so far. Purple, wow, lucky, straight away. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit invite others. Communicating, please stand by. Now that we're searching, we're gonna hit the home button. We're gonna go to system settings. We're gonna go all the way down to system, down to date and time. And we're gonna go forward exactly one day, 24 hours. We're gonna exit that. Stop looking, yes. Now, what we've essentially just done is we've gone forward 24 hours in the game. So if for some reason you couldn't do this, you didn't want to do this, or this has been patched, the same thing to increase the EVs, you just had to wait 24 hours. So you could turn your switch off in sleep mode, come back exactly 24 hours later, and this is gonna be the same result. Obviously this is way more convenient as it's way faster. But I'm just talking if this gets patched in the coming weeks, months, or in the new year. So now we can walk back to any Poke Center. We're gonna go in, head up to this, and we're gonna check Poke Jobs. As you can see at the top there, a tax seminar in session completed. We're gonna hit that. And everyone's going to come back. They've just been out for a day's work. Woohoo! Good job, your Pokemon came back from the job. Now it's gonna show us just how many points each Pokemon increased. They've all gone up 96 from their base. The client was very happy with the help of your Pokemon. Keep doing your best to make clients happy. It seems like Nine Tails has something to give you. As thanks for doing a good job, you received 2,000 quid. Thanks, Nine Tails. Okay, so you remember earlier how we had a look at Obstagoon? and his stats hadn't been touched at all. Now, if we go into his check summary, 
We're going to have a look here. And if I press X, you can see that dark yellow circle has now become into a sharpish shape towards attack. Now, if we continued to do this, that would actually turn blue and it would go all the way to the edge of where it says attack. That's how you know that that is actually maxed out. Now we can do the same for speed as well and max that out 252 and then I was gonna use the remaining six for HP. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I can show you what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look at Obstagoon now. I've just gone ahead and done that a couple more times. So we'll have a look at his EV spread now. And you can see there the attack. That is what the attack looks like maxed out. So if we were to do that again for speed and use the remaining six on HP, all that would turn blue. Much like if we take a leather look at Cinderace, and you'll see when we check his EV spread, you can see it is blue. That means he is maxed out. He has no more stats left to use. And in order to change this, I'd have to use berries and then level up his stats through pokey jobs or through proteins. And that's a fast and easy way to increase your EV stats in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Let me know if I missed anything or if you want any further information. Friends, gamers, if you liked the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button for future Pokemon Sword and Shield content. I really appreciate it. And until next time, Nico Finno out.